Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today we're going to try a little chicken wing experiment to see which oil makes the best wings. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. Okay, so we've done a lot of chicken wing experiments on this channel. We've done big chicken wings and many variations of crispy grilled chicken wings. But we haven't done any fried chicken wings. And guess what? We've gotten a lot of requests to do fried wings. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Chicken, red meat lover. Well, if you take a close look at our logo, you'll see our little friend hiding right inside. So today, our experiment involves three different types of oils to see which one produces the overall best wing. I have our production assistant, Jared T-Bone Stone, who's gonna join me for the taste test because a lot of you have said in my experiments that they are not blind taste tests. So we're gonna fix that today. You know, look, the reason I haven't fried a lot of wings is because frying can be a little bit messy, but guess what? It's a pretty easy process. Here's the thing, if Stone's 16 year old kids working in fast food restaurants can fry chicken wings, guess what? You can too. And today we're gonna find out again which oil produces the best wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that oil pipping hot. You say piping, I like pipping. And if that drives you nuts, you should hear me say Wagyu. Or Worcestershire Zerzer. I just have my thing. We're gonna get those hot, we're gonna drop these in, and then my favorite part, try the results. Okay, so first we're gonna start with peanut oil. Now there are a lot of different oils that are available, including avocado oil, which we've used for steaks, coconut oil, but some of those oils are really very pricey. So we chose our three oils based upon a combination of usefulness and utility for frying, as well as price point. Well, with no further ado, let's fill these up and get frying. Next up, corn oil. And finally, we have that good old fashioned pure vegetable oil right here. Okay guys, the chicken wings are done. Right over here I have Jared T-Bone Stone making his inaugural appearance. Welcome to the front of the camera, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, so what we have here, we got them all uh, cooked up. Now, you guys have asked and we have listened. You wanted to see blind taste tests. So what I've done is I have arranged all three uh, chicken wings here, three styles, the three oils of chicken wing, and they are marked underneath which is which. So neither Jared or myself even knows which ones these are. Also, you know, buffalo sauce is pretty popular with chicken wings, right? But we really wanted to leave these, this is just salt and pepper seasoning on here, so we could really get a sense for the true flavor profile of the oil. You ready to dig in? Yes, sir. Oh, we forgot your beer, man. Where's it at? We'll get it next video. We'll solve for that next time. Where should we start? You pick. Probably start here. We're gonna start right here, okay? Just go ahead and give it a little, I like to see, so there's a little trick here. I don't know if you, you how you eat wings, but I like to kind of like, just give that little dude, uh, you break it up down here at the one end and you can give that one bone a little twist and get that dude on out of there. 
Got a little bit of meat on there. Got it. And I just, yeah. Not as crispy as I would have liked it. And this also had the lightest color to it. What are you thinking about that wing, brother? It was a little bland. A little bland? Okay, well, it's just- expecting a little more kick to it. Yeah. A little more yeah. crisp. I thought it had a, a, it just wasn't as crispy as I wanted it, right? All right, so I also want to say I lined up all flats here on purpose. I know a lot of people like those drummies, but I wanted to keep a consistent bite all across. Let's take a look here. You noticing any flavor differences from the last one? This one's a little sweeter. You think? A little sweeter. Just a little bit. No, I, I can, I'm picking that up as well. It's a little bit sweeter. I thought it had a little bit better crunch on it. You know, I, we didn't talk about it, but they both had really nice colors to them. I did like that one better than the first one though. I'd agree. Okay. Now, for the final one, you ready? All right. All right, so we're gonna give that a little twist. Get the one bone out of there. Well, oh man. This frankly tastes the closest to what I'm used to tasting as a chicken wing, right? Mm -hmm. It has a, a, a richer flavor, I think. The first one was really kind of bland. I, I don't know, it was a, a, kind of an odd flavor. The second one, as you mentioned, was a little sweeter. I thought that this one had the best crisp. Mm -hmm. Definitely the crispiest. And I don't think we talked about it, but I thought that that also obtained the best color. Without any further ado, let's let you guys know. I won't need to guess. I don't actually remember which order they were in. I've been doing hitting the salts a little hard today. Vegetable. Peanut. Mm. Peanut oil. Interesting. I was expecting that one to be vegetable thought, oil as well. Yeah. Wow, man. I mean, it was it was bubbling. The the oil was hot, so that's peanut. Vegetable in the middle. Hmm. Huh. A little bit sweeter, maybe. Now that, that was a surprise to me. I thought the vegetable would be the worst of all of them, but it- That's what I thought. Yeah, it was kind of right in the middle of the road. So that means only one thing. Our winner is corn, corn oil. Who would have thought? Who would have thought, man? Well, you know what I'm really looking forward to? We're gonna take and build on this experiment in the very next video. We're gonna make some dirty wings, also called trash wings. You ever had trash wings before? No. All right, man. So that's like a little double fry process. We're gonna be hitting them with some buffalo sauce. Yeah, and if you think that word drives you crazy, wait till you hear me say Worcestershire Zerzer or however you say it. Have you figured out how to say that word yet? Worcestershire? Well, hey, you're a couple steps ahead of me, man. <laughs> so, hey, look, everybody at home, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you guys know the drill. Go ahead and hit that, you wanna say it? I'm gonna close this out. Too oh, much yeah, pressure. I need like a, I need a quick recap. Okay. Go ahead and hit, uh, hit that big thumbs up like button. Yeah. Nah, make sure to subscribe. So yeah, dude, you me. got it. Just like the man said, hit the thumbs up like button, smash that subscribe button, and continue to follow along our media adventures. We release a new video every week. Now it's time to eat some more wings. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it.